paraproteinemia, or monoclonal gammopathy, is the presence of excessive amounts of paraprotein or single monoclonal gammoglobulin in the blood. It is usually due to an underlying immunoproliferative disorder. It is sometimes considered equivalent to plasma cell dyscrasia. Types, paraproteinemias may be categorized according to the type of monoclonal protein found in blood, light chains only. This may be associated with multiple myeloma or AL amyloidosis. Heavy chains only. Whole immunoglobulins. In this case, the paraprotein goes under the name of M protein. If immunoglobulins tend to precipitate within blood vessels with cold, that phenomenon takes the name of cryoglobulinemia. The three types of paraproteins may occur alone or in combination in a given individual. Note that while most heavy chains or whole immunoglobulins remain within blood vessels, light chains frequently escape and are excreted by the kidneys into urine, where they take the name of Bentz Jones protein. It is also possible for paraproteins to form polymers by aggregating with each other. This takes the name of macroglobulinemia and may lead to further complications. For example, certain macroglobulins tend to precipitate within blood vessel with cold, a phenomenon known as creoglobulinemia. Others may make blood too viscous to flow smoothly, a phenomenon known as Waldenstraparagraph M macroglobulinemia. Possible causes, leukemias and lymphomas of various types, but usually B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphomas with a plasma cell component. Myeloma, plasma chitoma. Lymphoplasmakitic lymphoma. Idiopathic, some of these will be revealed as leukemias or lymphomas over the years. Monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, primary AL amyloidosis. Diagnosis, these disorders are characterized by the presence of any abnormal protein that is involved in the immune system, which are most often immunoglobulins and are associated with a clonal proliferation of lymphocytes. When a paraproteinemia is present in the blood, there will be a narrow band, or spike, in the serum protein electrophoresis because there will be an excess of production of one protein. There are two large classes of blood proteins, albumin and globulin. They are generally equal in proportion, but albumin is much smaller than globulin, and slightly negatively charged, which leads to an accumulation at the end of the electrophoretic gel. The globulins separate out into three regions on the electrophoretic gel, which are the I plus or minus band, the I squared band, and the I cubed band. The I plus or minus band can be separated into two components, I plus or minus 1 and I plus or minus 2. The I plus or minus 1 region consists mostly of I plus or minus 1 antitrypsin and I plus or minus 1 acid glycoprotein. The I plus or minus 2 region is mostly haptoglobin, I plus or minus 2 macroglobulin, I plus or minus 2 antiplasmin and ceruloplasmin. The I squared band consists of transferrin, low density lipoproteins, and complement system proteins. The I cubed band is where the immunoglobulins appear, which is why they are also known as gammaglobulins. The majority of paraproteins appear in this band. See also Monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance. References. External links. Paraproteinemia at patient.info.